Hello and welcome to Midweek Connect from Elim Church Romsey. My name is Dave Walker. We have been going through a series on the Gospel of John. But uh, what I want to do for a while is just have a slight break from it. We've got a musical item next week as part of this. Um, but this week I want to do something different other than the Gospel of John. My title is, Are You Camped at Mara or Elim? Let me just read this passage of scripture, which is Exodus 15, verses 18 to 27. Quite a long bit, but please bear with me. The Lord will reign forever and ever. For when horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and horsemen went into the sea, the Lord brought back the waters of the sea upon them. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground in the midst of the sea. Then Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, sang to them, saying, the Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously, the horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. Then Moses made Israel set out from the Red Sea, where they went into the wilderness of Shur. Then there were three days in the wilderness, and they found no water. When they came back to Marah, they could not drink the water of Marah, because it was bitter. Therefore, it was named Marah. Isn't it incredible how quickly they forget how God rescued him um, from the oppressors in the Red Sea? And the slightest thing goes wrong and it all falls apart in their mind. When they came the water to Marah, they could not drink the water of Marah because it was bitter. Therefore, it was named Marah. And the people grumbled against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? And we leave that. A little bit, it goes through a few verses there where God deals with them uh, about their attitude. And we get down to verse 27. Then they came to Elim, where there were 12 springs of water and 70 palm trees, and they encamped by the water. And of course, um, he's, what he's saying is in between, if you did diligently listen to the voice of the Lord and do what is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments, and keep it his statutes. I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians because I am the Lord. Here's a situation whereby they go across the desert. God saves them. God does great things for them and to them. And all of a sudden, um, something bad goes wrong. And so in their mind, they're camped at Mara. Mara is a physical place, but it represents a bad place. Are you camped at Mora right now? Have you decided to camp in your mind at that place where everything fell apart? Or are you looking forward to Elim? I'm not talking about Elim, the church network. I'm talking about Elim, the physical place in the desert where there were palm trees, but also which represents um, the goodness of God. Here is a pattern that they went through, which is very similar to the pattern we can go through. Number one, God saves. God saves them. God does great things. God rescues them, even though they didn't deserve it. God rescues them. They didn't get drowned in the Red Sea. God rescues them. And so then, um, it's the prophetess um, Miriam, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women out with tambourines and went out with tambourines and dancing. They were happy. They literally, uh, they worship God. But the next thing is they taste bitter water and they forget that God is able to rescue them. Verse 33, when they came to Mara, they couldn't drink the water of Mara. They, they, they couldn't go any further. And they decide to complain. You see, what they should have done there was say, God, you know, <clears throat> you did a great thing. <clears throat> you rescued us in the Red, Red Sea. But guess what? We are here right now. And something has gone wrong. We don't understand it, but we worship you. And we thank you for all the good times. And we declare that you're going to do good things again. Are you in a situation like that where you just don't know what's happening? And it's even worse when you don't see an end out of it. Because when you see an end out of it, when you see an end through it, it's, it's really, um, it's good then to, um, to be able to focus a little bit more. But if you don't see an end through it, what you're going to do is just keep worshipping God and keep thanking God. But don't stay. You might be at Mara physically, but don't stay there in your mind. You're at Mara in person, but in your mind, go on to Elim. They complain here. 
and they complain. I remember once being at an airport, going somewhere, I think it was America, and um, I got into the airport quite early and there was a massive delay and I thought, oh my goodness me. And I suddenly realised, no, God's challenging me to uh, have a different attitude, to have an Elim attitude, not a Mora attitude. And I said, God, thank you for the fact that we are safe. Thank you for the fact that this delay is for our benefit. And then a bit further on, they taste Elim. And then they camp there. So what I want to say to you is quite simply this. What is going on in your life at the moment? Don't dwell on it, but where are you camped? Are you deciding to say, yes, God, in the past you have done this. Yes, God, this has happened and it may be my fault, it may not be. Yes, God, I know that you're a good God and you're a mighty God, but I will stay in Elim in my mind. I will look towards that palm tree. I will believe that the, you the, I look towards the palm trees. I will believe that you will bring the oasis that I'm looking for. And that's what happened here. Just a little bit further on, they came to Elim and God and they camped there. And they went through all kinds of trials and tribulations in their lives. And if you're here today and you're camped at Mora, my heart goes out to you because that could mean one of many, many things. And we're here to help you and to uh, to pray with you and to support you in whatever way you want. But don't stay there in your mind. I am not going to stay here. I am not going to worry about this thing. I'm not going to worry about this financial issue, that people problem, this thing at church or work or in my family or whatever. In my mind, with God's help, I'm going to thank God for what he's done before. And I'm going to get my tent out and camp at Elim. In other words... I want to look forward to the good things that God has got. If you are listening to this and you're not a Christian, um, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. He is real. The Christian gospel is real. And God can meet you right now, wherever you are, whatever you're going through. He is your salvation. He is your source. And he is also your song. God bless you. Thank you for listening to uh, Midweek Connect. <laughs> from Elim Church, Romsey today. Thank, sorry for the cough there. Uh, this coming weekend, we've got a men's breakfast on Saturday, 8.30. Um, um, it may be too late for you to book space, but if you want to go, ring me, contact us. And also the weekend after, we have got uh, a, a children's Easter egg hunt here on Easter Saturday, two o'clock. Bring all the children in your family and in your street. It's open to everybody. And a great celebrate time of celebration on Easter Sunday. Uh, but I'm speaking at church morning and evening this week. Come along to Elam Church, Romsey, Middlebridge Street, Romsey, this Sunday. God bless you and thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect today. Thank you.